Hi, welcome. The go-to treatment for menopause discomforts is hormone replacement, and women comment frequently that taking HRT or BHRT is the solution to feeling better. But what if that's not an option? How do you manage menopause symptoms when you can't top up or rebalance hormones? In this video, I talk about a list of things that you can try that may help you cope when you have to or choose to tackle menopause naturally. For a variety of reasons, many women can't or choose not to use hormone replacement therapies, and they're left with the frustrating and daunting task of trying to figure out how to rebalance hormones and relieve themselves of a list of unwanted symptoms. I'm in this category, and I know how upsetting it can be when it seems like you have no options and you feel horrible. So here is a list of things that can help manage menopause symptoms when HRT is not on the table. One of the initial things that women research is supplements, so let's start there. I don't currently take any products geared to menopausal women, and when I looked into what products were available, I was sucked so deeply into an endless abyss of pills and potions that claimed to erase menopause symptoms that honestly, it made my head swim. What I discovered is that many of them contain a variety of combinations of herbs, probiotics, and vitamins, and based on comments left on my social media pages, they have mixed results. Some women claim that one or two products are absolute miracle potions, while others have tried many products and say that they notice little to no difference. So I think it may be worthwhile to dive into that endless abyss of products and try one or two if you want to go that route. You may have some luck. One product that's not specifically geared to menopausal women, but that I have been trying for the last few months and believe is making a difference is collagen. I was skeptical for a very long time, but finally decided to give it a go and I do believe it is making a dent in my pain levels. So if you haven't tried collagen yet, it may be worthwhile. Next on the list of natural remedies is diet. In my opinion, it is one of the most important lifestyle factors that has the biggest impact on health and symptoms. So let's talk about how food can help you manage your menopause discomforts. There are four categories of food that I believe are beneficial. The first is phytoestrogens. They're naturally occurring compounds that have a chemical structure similar to estrogen and are very beneficial at helping balance hormones. These types of foods have a weak estrogenic effect and they're adaptogenic, so they can increase or decrease your estrogen levels based on your needs. They attach to estrogen receptors when estrogen is needed and when there's too much, they take up those receptors with their weaker estrogenic response and block natural estrogens and xenoestrogens, which are much stronger. They won't rebalance hormones to the same degree that HRT will, but they are helpful. It's not hard to incorporate them into your daily diet and they go a long way to helping to relieve peri and postmenopausal discomforts. Great sources of phytoestrogens include flax seeds, organic soy, cruciferous veggies, berries, nuts, and seeds. The second food category is fiber. If I had to choose just one food category to increase health and decrease symptoms, it would be fiber. Digestion slows quite a bit when hormones shift and it causes a number of problems like constipation, bloating, reflux, high cholesterol, even estrogen dominance. Fiber is essential to keep digestion moving and usher out cholesterol and estrogen so they're not reabsorbed into the bloodstream. It also helps with blood sugar balance and weight management and provides a healthy environment for good gut bacteria to thrive. If you're eating whole plant foods, you're getting fiber. Speaking of gut health, the third food category is pre and probiotics. The gut is essentially the body's second brain and is responsible for our health in so many ways. It houses 95% of our serotonin and 50% of our dopamine, two chemical messengers responsible for sleep, memory, metabolism, and mood. It's also where nutrients are absorbed, hormones are regulated, cholesterol is removed, and has an essential role in the immune system. Gut dysbiosis can cause or worsen many symptoms like allergies, heartburn, anxiety, depression, high cholesterol, bowel disorders, skin conditions, vaginal infections, inflammation, sore joints, chronic fatigue, 
and estrogen dominance. You can use probiotics in supplemental form, or you can get pre and probiotics through foods like bananas, apples, onions, garlic, fermented foods, cheese, yogurt, and oats. The fourth food category is anti-inflammatory foods. Chronic inflammation is involved in most health conditions and it increases when estrogen drops. It causes pain, fatigue, depression, anxiety, GI issues, congestion, dry eyes, shortness of breath, and skin conditions. So controlling it can make a big difference. You can find anti-inflammatory food lists online, but some examples of anti-inflammatory foods are green tea, berries, turmeric, nuts, and broccoli. To ensure that these types of foods are decreasing inflammation, ditching the sugar and processed foods is also important because they cause inflammation. The next suggestion that I believe will help manage menopause symptoms is sleep. It's very hard to get quality sleep in peri and postmenopause, but it's very important to optimal health and well-being. Sleep is when the body repairs and recharges, and it is vital to memory, mood, attention, and physical and mental health. Lack of sleep can cause or worsen anxiety, depression, brain fog, pain, mood swings, lack of concentration, headaches, high blood pressure, and more. So getting six hours or more every single night, if you can swing it, is important. I have videos on sleep if you want more details on how to improve it. But in a nutshell, the following things should help you achieve a more restful night's sleep. One, develop a sleep routine to train your brain and your body to prepare for sleep. Two, ditch the caffeine after lunch and try not to eat several hours before you go to bed. Three, keep your environment cool and use a fan or another device for white noise. Four, decrease your screen time before you go to bed or use a device to block the blue light. Five, get plenty of light during the day, but keep the lights dimmed and darkened in the evening. Six, take magnesium, which brings me to my next suggestion. Number four is to make sure you're getting the nutrients you need. Deficiencies can contribute to menopause symptoms, and because digestion slows, eating patterns change, stress heightens, and hormones are unbalanced in midlife, it's more likely to occur. A multivitamin is a good idea, as is a bit of blood work to check iron status. Aside from those two things, there are five vitamins and minerals that all women should be making sure they're getting adequate amounts of. The first is magnesium. Most of us are deficient, and it's very helpful for sleep, anxiety, cramps, blood pressure, constipation, and apparently hot flashes. Number two is vitamin B12. Low B12 can cause nerve-related problems, cognitive issues, muscle weakness, and low energy. So if you're struggling with things like fatigue, pins and needles, digestive upset, or fatigue, taking B12 may help. Next is vitamin D. A good percentage of us don't get enough sun exposure to satisfy our needs, and inadequate amounts of vitamin D can affect calcium absorption, heart and bone health, and proper muscle and immune function. Taking vitamin D daily can help with fatigue, osteoporosis risk, pain, blood pressure, depression, and hot flashes. Number four is omega-3s. They're vital for brain and heart health, and they work wonders for inflammation. Omega-3s help with high cholesterol, blood pressure, pain, anxiety, brain fog, mood, and hot flashes. I find algae-based supplements easier on the stomach, but you can get omega-3s through food as well. Flax seeds, nuts, fish, chia seeds, and Brussels sprouts are all good sources. Calcium is next. It's important for bone, nerve, and muscle health, and not getting enough can cause muscle aches, cramps, irregular heartbeat, memory loss, bone loss and weakness, and pins and needles. Please try to get most of your calcium through food sources because too much calcium in supplemental form can put you at an increased risk for cardiovascular problems. Good sources of calcium include leafy greens, beans, broccoli, chia seeds, yogurt, and cheese. Suggestion number five that helps with menopause symptoms is water. I can see you all rolling your eyes at me, but when it comes to menopause, believe me, it's good advice. Estrogen helps regulate fluids in the body, and when it drops, dehydration can occur much more easily, 
and cause a list of problems. Keeping hydrated can help improve sore joints, dry skin and skin conditions, bladder irritation and UTIs, hot flashes, headaches, constipation, dizziness, brain fog, fatigue, muscle cramps, and more. And it's very easy to include in your daily routine. Lifestyle change number six that can make a big difference is movement. Exercise in any form can help maintain weight, increase flexibility, strengthen bone, ameliorate joint health and pain, boost moods, decrease anxiety, prevent muscle loss, and more. It doesn't have to be over the top either. You don't have to knock yourself out at the gym every day. Unless, of course, you like that sort of thing. Just move and use your muscles every day. Walk, climb stairs, vacuum, scrub walls, whatever gets you up and around. I carry laundry baskets and groceries up three flights of stairs, and believe me, it's a workout. Hormone replacement is helpful to many women, but it's just one treatment in the toolkit. There are many things you can do, whether you choose HRT or not, that will help you improve your health, balance your hormones, and manage symptoms in all stages of menopause. If there are things that help you cope that I haven't mentioned, share them in the comments. The more options we have in our menopause management toolkit, the better. I wish you all health, happiness, and peace of body and mind, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.